Hey, what's up guys? This is Amondo21 And today we're gonna take a look at the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers The game, which was released by Saban Entertainment in 1994 Here we go This is the intro right here and yeah, there we go Real Repulsa And as you can see I put on the bottom Rip Mashiko, so uh, Mashiko Soga as well as her date of birth and her date of uh, death that's the uh, Japanese lady who played Rita Repulsa but uh, let's just start with Billy and get this game started area 1 well like I was saying the, the Japanese lady who played Rita Repulsa sadly passed away she uh, she passed away in 2006 from a uh, pancreatic cancer and um, Trust me, she shows. Even though she was sick, she decided to to play one final character, which was Mystic Mother in Power Rangers Mystic Force, or or I should say, um, Power Rangers. I mean, Magi Ranger, which is the Japanese name for it, because the footage we got from her, we got it from over th over there. But anyway. She basically, like I say, she basically scared the hell out of us when we were children. But after we understood it was only, after we all grew up actually and understood it was only a show, we said, oh, okay. We, we, everybody was like, Oof, what is, what a relief. But anyway, I was actually kind of surprised when I heard that she passed away and, and um, also, if you guys remember when um, she didn't speak any English, but right here in the U.S., her she was dubbed. Her voice was dubbed by a um, by a talented voice actress. Her name was uh, Barbara Goodson, which did a freaking good job. But anyway, let's just get back to the Power Rangers. This is uh, I'm missing Billy, who was played by David Yost. David Yost was. The only guy to play a Power Ranger of the same color, blue. Also, when it comes to Billy, I was um, I was a little bit disappointed when he didn't make it to Power Ranger Seal because supposedly he became an adult first, and uh, there was some side effects. I mean, that was just bullshit. I know something something might have happened outside of the show that made it that made Saban not want Billy as part of the SEAL team although when the Gold Ranger showed up on Power Ranger SEAL I thought it was Billy because Billy was nowhere to be seen every time the Gold Ranger appeared so I mean how many of you guys you guys actually thought it was him I did and um, it was just some freaking believable I mean Billy, the Gold Ranger, no way. But then, but then I was actually shocked even more when when I found out he wasn't. And then the episode where where Tommy brings in a new a new person to be the Gold Ranger, I was actually jumping when I was actually jumping up and down in my bed when I saw. Jason, I was like, oh yeah, hell yeah, Jason is back. And this time as a six ranger. I mean I was like, oh what a <laughs> I was like what a small world. He was the he was the Red Ranger on Mighty Morphin. And Tommy was the sixth ranger on Mighty Morphin. Both green and white ranger. And now it's the other way around. Tommy is the red ranger and Jason is the sixth ranger. But anyway. Oh boy. That was just pretty damn cool. Trust me, Billy was one cool guy. He should remain a ranger. He should have been the blue ranger and seal instead of a uh, instead of Rocky. But uh, well, they gave it to Rocky, which um, which he got like he got like deranked because he was red and he went down to blue. And as we all know in uh, in Power Rangers and the uh, Super Sentai, the blue is usually the second guy. And the red, of course, has always been and will always be like the main one. 
I have never ever seen a Ranger, a Power Ranger series or Super Sentai where, where either the blue or yellow or any other color for that matter is the main Ranger. Although, <clears throat> they, should ha they should do it one day. Make uh, somebody other than the Red Ranger the main guy. But right now, as you can, as you can, uh, you can see, I'm fighting the first boss. This guy's a uh, fucking skeleton. I remember him from the series, but I don't, I don't remember his name. And also, take a look at my life bar. You see that? Well. That's the life part that the bosses have on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie edition. And you guys are gonna, and when I um, and when I get to to that game, you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. And right here, the bosses don't have any health. All you have to do is just keep hitting them and hitting them until they're dead. Like for instance, I broke this guy's arms and uh, his cape. Let's see what else goes. Oh, now the entire body's gone. Now all I gotta do is hit the head a couple of times, and he's a goner. He'll definitely be gone. There you go. He's dead. Really, the Blue Ranger. And look at this. After you beat every area, you get a password. And in the old days, it was a habit to write it. You had to write it. If it, if you wanted to start from the second area, like you had to write those passwords, and then write next to it, okay, it's for this area and that area. Well, guys, let's select our second character. Uh, let's go with the sack. Oh, I remember Zack from the old days, the hip hop dancer, and um, he made his own martial arts style known as Hip Hop Keto. So let's um, let's move on and see what we can do. Okay, so we're getting through all this, and um, oh yeah, let me tell you one thing. I did forget to mention um, in the beginning. That um, when I was talking about uh, Rita, Rita Repulsa and the Japanese actress, that um, it's the series over there in Japan, the Seal Ranger, which is the Japanese counterpart from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, he was actually he was actually a hell of a more scary than the one we got here. And uh, imagine if if Seal Ranger, which is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers over there in Japan would have gotten dubbed instead of um, letting Saban make their own instead of letting you know America get their own actors and making the series put their footage especially with a character like Lokar which over there was known as Great Satan that would have been I mean, that would have that would have had parents complaining up the ass on the TV companies but um, never happened. And thank God they didn't dub it because they, w I mean, some way or another, they would have ruined Super Sentai right here. Although in Power Rangers Mega Force, if you guys are looking, watching that series right now, or Super Mega Force, I'm sorry, in which every Power Ranger that has ever appeared has come out, it's appearing right now. Well. They, ha they are showing some Super Sentai some Super Sentai Rangers that have never appeared here in the US and we got the ex and um, Saban just said you know what that's his powers that the world has never seen before that explanation nothing else okay so here's the boss I hate this son of a bitch seriously look at this Mastodon and why do I hate this guy easy when you fight him, he fucking vanishes all over the place. He disappears and that makes it harder. So, when facing this this boss in the second stage, save your bomb. I'll tell you why once uh, we get to, to the boss. Also, these guys, uh, these jumping buddies are so annoying. I mean, they jump up and down all over the place. They are so annoying that it takes more than one fucking combo just to get them. The only way you get him in one combo is to like make sure there's a wall behind them and you just keep swinging. Also, as you all know, Zack was replaced by Adam in real life, Walter Jones, 
was replaced by Johnny Young Bosch, who right now happens to be a good voice actor. His latest work was in Naruto as um, Sasori on the Red Sand. He also appeared as Ishigo on Bleach. But he's also done other characters in Naruto, like like that, like that um, Shunin, Shunin exam coach, the one with the bandana and the toothpick in his mouth. I don't remember what his name is. But he's appeared. He, he did that voice first, and then he got lucky and and got to play Sasori of the Red Sand. But anyway, going back to Zack, he uses hip hop kido, a fighting style combined with the uh, dancing. It's dancing and the martial arts combined. And trust me, I liked it back when I was a kid. I thought Zack was the man. Also, let me tell you one thing. When um, when it comes to video games, do not play the latest video games that have come out from the Power Rangers. You don't want to do that. Main reason. They suck balls. And how do they suck balls? Well, you just go to YouTube and find somebody who has uploaded uh, game footage from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. No, 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 not Mighty Morphin po Power Rangers, I'm sorry. Power Rangers Samurai. And once you do, just take a look and you'll see what I mean. Especially the Mega Sword fights. Oh, God. It makes me feel like I'm playing Rock Band when, when playing the Samurai fights because you have to press the right button at the right time in order to attack or block. If you're slightly off, slightly, slightly late or early, you either do a little bit of damage or when it comes to blocking, you might get hit. Just all look at this place, it's just full of machines that could get you. See, I guess I hit once. Well, you have to, to reach up, you have to grab the pipe and hold up on, your, on the d-pad as you go in there. I mean, compared to the Power Rangers movie version video game, ouch, they got me. They, uh, this one is easier. Although one thing that they pissed me off was the Green Ranger. I mean, when the hell is the Green Ranger? This series was, I mean, not the series, not the series, excuse me. The, this game was made about, I don't know, about a year, no, about two years after the series, after the Power Rangers series had premiered, and uh, by then we already had the Green Ranger, I think by 1995 we already had the Black Ranger, I mean the White Ranger, and neither of them made, made it into the game. The Green Ranger should have been, at least been in here, and there should have been a stage when you fold your way like this, I would say the second or third stage, so that way you could just get Tommy and play as him, or unlock him with a password or something like that. And also a dragon sword fight would have been awesome. Oh, look at the weapons they're holding right now. The parties. Those remind me of the of the jungle maze from Power Rangers: Jungle Fury. It looks the same, except that it has no spikes, like in Jungle Fury. See? That one has spikes, and Jungle Maze don't. But, uh... Anyway. Let's leave Jungle Fury out and get back to Mighty Morphin. Trust me. I lost faith in Power Rangers video games after... The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers... Uh, fighting Edition game. After that... They brought in a Power Rangers CU game, but that was only racing. I mean, that was disappointing. I mean, a racing Power Rangers game? I mean, sure, Mario Kart. Super Mario released a racing game called Mario Kart. So I think Power Rangers was trying to do that. Now, see, this is where you want to save your bomb. You just want to keep hitting this guy until... See, right now he's disappearing, slowly and appearing. But, there's... but after a little while, after he takes a certain amount of damage, he will vanish. And he's gonna start moving fast all over the screen, trying to make you guess. If you want to go through that, that's up to you. But let's wait. Let's just wait for that to happen. A couple more hits to do it. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, oh, see, see, here it is, like that. Just make sure you get him a couple of times. Oh, he missed me with the corner, not bad. See, after a couple of times, just set the bomb. Just use the bomb. Let it loose. And you got him. That's the easy way to, to beat this guy, or else you're just gonna be. Because every time he gets faster and faster and faster, and you're not. It's not gonna be that easy to beat. And here's your password for area 2, 5113. So let's select our new character and see who. And see stage 3. So, okay, let's select our third character and uh, let's go with the girl this time. Let's go with uh, Kimberly. And, uh, like, like I said in the first two areas, she was played by Amy Jo Johnson, which um, I saw her on, um, on a series with Enrico Colantoni. She was a police officer. I do not remember what the hell the name of the series is. Although, I, w I will put the name on the on the video. That way you guys could see it. Maybe I'll post the fo photo. And um, okay, there's the photo of the show. Hopefully you guys know what it is. Hopefully you guys can watch it. I remember when I saw her there. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that? I was like, is that Emilio Johnson from Power Rangers? And trust me, to my surprise, it was. But going back to Power Rangers. I was like, when I saw, I mean, most of the guys that I knew had a crush on Kimberly. Believe me, most of the most of the guys that were watching this, whether they were boys or teenagers, they had a crush on her. And who could blame them? But I was different. I had, I never liked Amy Jo Johnson because I I liked Trini. I have a lot more. I felt, I mean, when I saw her, the way she fought, the way she did everything, I was like, well, I was like, whoa, she's like, she's like my kind of girl, a girl who can, who can fight when she needs to, not a girl, not a, a girl who, not a girly girl like Kimberly who likes pink, but I know, I knew most of you like Kimberly, and, um, in the, in, in the future, in this video, when I'm playing as Trini, I will explain to you many many more reasons, actually. Well, right, now let's get back to Kimberly. As you all know, Kimberly was the last of the Power Rangers to live during Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I mean, after Tweet Rang, Walter Jones and uh, Austin St. John left, they basically... Kimberly basically stayed near until near the end of uh, season three, where when she was replaced by Cat. And trust me, once Kimberly left, for me I was like, oh boy, this series is just going down the drain. But believe me, it didn't. The series continued; it did well, and I enjoyed it. Oh, look at this guy following me, crawling with, with the spikes right behind me, yellow guy. And then these things which should laser side you. Oh, you have to watch out right here, the fire. See? It hurts you, just like that. But it didn't hurt the body. Really, that's really unfair. Alright, let's just get out of here. And beat the hell out of that guy and watch it. Because this time we got a laser and fire. Right. Kill the laser. Oh, you see that? The laser didn't do anything to me. He went right through me. That was just weird. It's just plain weird. But, um. God, I hate this part. You beat a couple of putties and then, boom. Bridge explodes. Just watch as I beat one more putty. It should happen. See? Just like that. It blows up. And you go down. And then we're swimming. Except that, except that you cannot hit the parties while, while, while the water rises. Yet, when the water rises, the parties remain below. I mean, this is what makes this level a little hard. The swimming and the parties not floating. 
So like right now, you have to take advantage and kill them before the water goes back up and move. And hopefully the water is down by the time the bodies show up. And then all we have to do right now is get to the other. Oh shit! The water, the water level rose before I could do anything. And here we go. Bam. What is this? Help. And then you have to keep going up, up, up. I mean, and if you guys remember, I didn't mention that um, that the health bar on, for the for the bosses on Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie edition, the game, is actually the same as the health bar the Rangers have in this game. And in the movie version, you get hit four times and that's it. You lose a life right here. You could take a hell of a lot more damage. Also, this um, what else? Oh boy, let's just go through this area and uh, let's see if I remember what I was gonna say. But uh, as a matter of fact, when I cover. The Mighty Morphin Power in this movie edition, you're gonna see what I mean with the health bars and everything. But look at this. This is what makes the game this stage a little difficult, although if you're an advanced gamer, you should be able to get through this no problem. Now all, you, all we gotta do is wait for the water to rise and go on top. And there we go. Now we wait for it to lower. And now we have to keep moving with some of these buddies. Ow. Oof. Now you have to get through this and uh, it's easier. You know this reminds me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in, S in the NES where you have to get through the, through the plants without getting hit. But over there you actually have a time limit. Or like here you could just take your sweet time. Although, look at that, we have uh, something up there, so use the bomb, and there we go. Two bombs, a health pack. And a health pack. And then we have to wait for the water to rise once more. Alright, let's go through. We need to get through. And there we go. Now, we need to go under, and there's another... There's, some, there's another container right there. You just have to break it and see what, what the hell it is. More health. I mean, if you... Also, this version... I, I was talking about the Green Ranger earlier, which uh, Kimberly had a crush on during the whole fucking series. But, he's available on the Sega Genesis version of this game. But not on, but, but not on this one. Except the Genesis version, like I... If I did mention earlier, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's a fighting game, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. All you have to do is beat like two monsters, and then you fight Tommy, and then he grows big, you beat him, and then Rita brings out the... the fucking Dragon Sword, and then you beat the Dragon Sword, and Tommy is yours to choose in the rest of the game if you want to. And that's what I would do, and that's what I do in the... In the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Sega Genesis Edition, I select him all the time after I unlock him. But uh, as for the movie version of the game, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie edition, it's a lot better on on Sega Genesis, and I'll show you why once I cover it. But uh, right now we have to lose his speed, the remaining eyeball from this boss. Ow! That hurt. Trust me, this guy just moves and moves. Okay, I'm just swinging like crazy. Damn it! You got me. Come on, die already. Why won't he die? Trust me, I'm not gonna get him with an arrow, so I might as well keep jumping. Plus, I already wasted my bomb, I have another. Oh, I got him. I got him. And we're through with the third stage. And there we go. Password 3904. We're, we're clearing the third area. Gee. So let's select our fourth character. Let's go with the uh, Trini on this one. And um, 
Here we go, I got four. Also, Rainis sadly passed away in real life to it rang. She died in December she died in September 3rd, 2001. And um, she died in a in a car accident. But at least we can remember her from Power Rangers and also from The Crow, the, the movie that she filmed after Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, if you don't know what character she played, she played Kali. And here, and here at the on the screen, there's a, a picture of her um, as her as her character Kali. And um, it was a pretty different. Her character was much more different than Trini. And um, if you guys um, want to know what, how the movie was, how she was, if you haven't watched it, go, go and watch The Crow. She was awesome on The Crow. But um, anyway, like I said, she passed away in a, in a car accident. She was coming back from... She was coming back from San Francisco, I believe. And she was uh, going to be the maid of honor. In her friend's wedding, but um, unfortunately they had a car crash, and the Tui she wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so you know she died on on the way to the hospital due to her injuries. But like I said, we can remember her through the the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, through the video, through not just the, the series itself, but the game. I just took her, she looks nearly identical in the game as she did in real life. And believe me. When uh, when Mighty Morphin Power Rangers when they premiered, when they um when they, when they hit the air, I liked her a lot better than I did Kimberly. Number one, because I love the color yellow. Second because I don't like girly girls, so the minute I saw her, I was like, whoa, she's hot. But anyway, I never, I, I didn't find out about her death until like 2010, 2009 when I was watching a, a video on YouTube. I was watching the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers opening for the first season, and then I looked. And then I just started reading the comments because I like reading the comments to see how people remember the old days. And here we go. Sabertooth Tiger and the boss lives and Genie. And like I said, I was watching the first season intro on YouTube, I looked at the comments and then I s and then and then one of the comments said, Rip to your rank. I was like, what? I was like, rest in peace, I'm like, what? You have got to be kidding me, how'd she die? And I was thinking, I mean, I, what I thought was, it had to have been, it didn't, it had to have been like something, like the car crash or something, I didn't, because I knew she was too young for, for it to have been a health issue, but it happens, so I looked, and then I found out. I thought people, I thought they were people were faking it, but when I looked on both Wikipedia and also on, on videos about her death, I was like, oh god! And all because she forgot to wear the seatbelt. But anyway, let's go up here before this thing blows. Boom, gone. Now let's go up. There we go. There we go. Damn it. In this level, it's, it's kind of short, but um, I decided to... I mean, even when I was a kid, I mean, I remember when we were pretending to be Power Rangers. I did say I wanted to be the Yellow, but I, I didn't know the Yellow Ranger was a girl until I saw the series. Plus, I, ha I also had no idea that the Yellow Ranger's Japanese counterpart was male. So that's when I said, whoa, Trinity's counterpart was a male. I was like, that's gotta be weird. 
and then that also answered the that also answered the question about why wasn't she wearing why didn't she wear a skirt like Kimberly but I said nah that's better she's a good fighter she's better than Kimberly so yeah good idea I was like good idea removing the skirt making it easy to fight Trust me, she was awesome. And then we didn't get to see the Rangers wearing the outfits without the masks until like the second season. And that's when. Oh, look at that! That's the bomb on Trini, the Saber Tooth Tiger, all lining. But we didn't get to see them without the masks until like the second season, which is when they finally got the outfits. And then like. One thing I wish that would have happened is that when, when the movie was made, these guys would have appeared instead of uh, instead of Adam, Rocky, and Aisha. I mean, seriously, why not wait until the movie and then leave after the movie? That way we could have had the original Rangers in the movie. It would have been a hell of a lot better. It would have been five times better, actually. I gotta beat this thing. I mean, this thing is pretty fucking annoying. See, it goes below where you can't hit it. I mean, the only way I could hit it right now is by using a bomb, but that'll be a waste of... I'll, that'll be wasting it. And even though when it gets up here, it shoots from the bottom. Alright, we got it. Let's move ahead. Sh Ooh, that was so close. Duck again, jump, and get that gun. Okay, here's another fucking gun. Oh god, they got me. I'm not gonna jump. Let's go. Gotcha. And we should be at the boss right now. It's a pretty short level. And there we are. This guy is pretty easy to beat actually. Just keep hitting and hitting and hitting until you got him. He doesn't last too long. You don't even you you don't even need a bomb to beat this guy. The only thing that gets in your way is his powers. That's it. Now here we have to move for the electric eel. Ah! See that got me? Here we go. Go! Gotta beat him. Son of a bitch, he's not he, he won't die. Oh sorry about that guys. I'm just smashing buttons over the place that I press the pause button by accident. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, I got the you. Right. He should die right about now. Damn it. So, oh I got him, I got him. That was pretty <laughs> Alright, and now we're going to play the final level. Alright, so here's the area, clear password, 1970. So the, the next level, you should know who, who we're going to select. So let's just get to the select screen and select Jason. And get it over with. Because after this, it's the Mega Sword levels. Which I will cover too. Oh, Alright then. we go. So let's just select Jason and get started. Here we go. The Red Ranger gets the final and possibly the hardest stage in the game. So let's just go through. Okay guys I'm sorry for the delay. Take care of a little something, but uh, okay, here we go, we're moving. Yeah, and you should see a little bit of everything in this stage because after this, like I mentioned, we're gonna start the Mega Sword fights, which is which are pretty awesome in this game. So let's just uh, beat this level pretty quickly so that way I could show you. And also, the reason why I decided to cover the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in one single video it's because um, the whole the whole game is pretty damn short and uh, and it's pretty worth it is worth it playing the whole thing in one sit same thing as uh, run saber you could just play it in one sit and you're and you're done and see so now right here we get this guy with the swords but you have to watch it because these guys do cause damage and uh, let's see here we got a piece of chicken which heals you a lot and it helps a lot in this level. 
and now I hate these guys. And it's even harder to kill with a uh, when you're not when you're not in when you're not in power in your mode because all you got is your fists. But once you're in power in your you got your weapons to use. Oh, I barely got him. I barely caught that guy before he jumped. So let's go. Bam! Get those guys out of the way. And here we go. Here is the boss. Bam! See, it's now easier with a Jason sword. I mean, I have heard of some people going to the whole game with just a, a single ranger. People that don't play like me, that just pick a ranger per stage. And it's fine to play that way too. Trust me, this level is a bit, it's kind of long and uh, takes a while just to get through it. But still, it's fine as hell to play this game. Bam! God damn it, die! One of these bodies die! Damn it, die! Die! Alright, finally got him. He took a sweet time to die. Oh, I should have saved that for some of the green bodies. That was stupid. Oh, this guy is really nice if you don't kill him pretty quickly. Got him. Alright, so no green parties. Take that. Take that. Oh shit, I forgot about the green parties again. Okay, lucky, no green parties. But right here where there's some barrels, there might be some. You gotta watch for that thing. It hits you and it electrocutes you. But it's also pretty easy to avoid. There's not much to do about that. So let's just keep beating the hell out of these parties. Hopefully beat him. Ow, that hurt. Damn it. I hate these green guys. They refuse to die. Oh, he died. Fuck, oh. I forgot there was a guy with a gun. And then there was a barrel gonna come down in my way. But at least there was a health pack right behind him. Ooh, not a second time. Not gonna happen a second time. It is rare when you get me the same way twice in a, in a game. It's pretty fucking rare. Although sometimes I do walk into those situations like a dumbass. But uh, it happens. So. Trust me, I used to hate this level as a kid. It was too long and uh, besides, I couldn't beat it as a kid for some reason. But just a couple of years ago when I came back to retry it, I just realized it was the easiest thing. And now all we have to do is get through this laboratory and we finally get to that ninja soldier guy. Ooh, also that thing, it's a good thing it helps too. So he hits the parties for you. Here he comes again, hopefully he gets some help. Yep, now I'm getting surrounded by green parties. Come on, get over here. Come on. Gotcha. Nope, so I got him. Also, if you kill some of these parties near those computers, you could break them. Let's hope I can do that. Ow! Son of a bitch. Take that. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention that uh, Red Ranger was played by Austin St. John. And he would later be played by Steve Cardenas. When Austin left. Although, I did... I heard that it had something to do with like... With like... Payment, they, they, they couldn't get, they weren't getting paid enough, so they decided to leave. I say it was a bad idea for them to leave because the show was popular. It, it would have been cool if they would have remained until the end. And then, like for example, after Mighty Morphin was over, like in Seal, we would have gotten Rocky, Aisha, and all those guys that appeared later. Oh god, I had this part. 
You gotta get through it quickly because there's gonna be like a machine firing. See, listen to the noise. Gotta duck down and wait for it to fire. It both helps you and it kills you, but you have to know how to use it to your advantage. So you hear the noise, it goes eh, 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 and then it fires. Oh shit. Duck! There we go. Son of a bitch. Ooh. Plus in this part of the game, more, more and more and more parties come. So we should be near it. Gotta duck again, because it's about to fire. Here we go. Alright, I keep moving. Don't want to get caught. And there it is. And to get past to the next area of the level, you have to actually destroy it. While fighting parties. I used to die a lot in this area as a kid. I don't know why, but uh, I did. Maybe I was a dumbass back then. Who knows? We just this thing won't this thing won't, won't fucking explode. Oh, there you go. And once it explodes, all the parties behind it die. Come on, damn it! Thing's too high. So I guess we just get through the parties. Come on. Okay, go through, go through. Oh shit, another door? And more parties to get through. It's been over fucking 40 minutes of playing and I'm getting bored of, bored of the parties. And oh, finally. There he is. Now let's just, let's just kick your fucking ass and get out of here. I'm aching to start the Megasword fights. Come on. There was a smoke bomb, but I got my own bomb. Tyrannosaurus bomb. Hopefully it damaged you more than enough. Although I could have waited a little. Now this guy is pretty cool too because he uses a lot of different weapons. Let's, you, let's hope you get to see them. If I let him anyway. Man, die already. Oh yes, and on, on like the Sega Genesis version, when, when you kill the monsters, they don't grow here. Oh, see, there's a new weapon. <laughs> when, since it's one-on-one -on, -one on Mighty Morphin in Sega Genesis, and when you kill the monsters, they grow and you have to fight them with the Megasword, and then that's when they find a dead right here. So you have to do get through a level and kill them when you're through. And here we go. Come on, die already. This guy won't die. Ooh, he's about to kill me. Oh, I got him. Hell yeah. And there's the area clear password. 8624. That's if you want to go straight to the Megasword fights. So let's get ready for the Megasword. Because I want to in. Oh, and here we go, the Mega Sword formation. And we got the Power Rangers theme playing in the back, a 16 bit rendition of it anyway. And this sounds good for 16 bit. Look at this. Isn't this nostalgic? This is pretty awesome. Hell yeah, look at that. And then finally, the Red Ranger. And there we are, Megasword, or as he was known in Japan, Dice Eugene. Or Dice Eugene, or Dice Eugene, I don't remember well. But here we go. Here's the first monster you fight. And remember, this monster is the one I was talking about in the beginning when I mentioned the, the dubbing of the series. When I mentioned what, what it would have been like if they would have dubbed. Seal Ranger, or if they had, uh, if they had a, if a locker's name would remain the same, if if they would have left a uh, locker's name as Great Satan like in Japan, there would have been a lot of complaining. But um, it still worked anyway. Locker and this guy, I don't remember what his name is. They should have put his name. I don't know about to beat him anyway. It's pretty easy. Also. 
Mighty Morphin Power Rangers has a two player mode. Yes, it does have a two player mode. But you have to input a password in the options menu. And, th and this password that you see on the screen right now is just a, an area clear password, but the one you you use when you want to play two players is different. You could play either Locker's Monster or this. Now, if you haven't watched the the CU Rangers Japanese version, this robot or this Megasword was piloted by Rita Repulsa's son. Yes, her son was piloting the Megasword. Her son was like 10, 11 years old and played by an 11, 10, 11 year old kid. Her son actually. Because it was pretty cool to see a kid piloting a Megasword in the Japanese version. Now to beat him, you have to get you have to beat him once like this without taking that much damage. And you have to beat him with taking the least possible damage because this happens. So he gets a lot stronger. And look at this. You have to do what you can to make sure you get him. Like right now. I had him in a corner but he jumped up and came came back. He could still get me though. Also notice at the bottom you have both a life bar and a power bar. The, the power bar increases slowly and as you can see it has mark it has three black lines across it once it reaches each black line a new power is unlocked like if I let it go all the way I could use the strongest power Megasword has which is like the finishing move during the game and here we go the finish And that's it. We have just beat the power. We just beat the power Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for the Super Nintendo. And here is the the ending credits. So I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what you think about it. So turn on your consoles, grab those controllers. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!